Next, we decided to go do some more tourist stuff and headed for Euro Disney. I found a friend there from the start. On we went first to Space Mountain. And good thing we did, because then a mini hurricane decided to join us. And they started closing all the rides because the park was being dissembled by winds. Well, it's a good thing I had my sports pants on under my pants. I know, not the best fashion statement, but they kept me moderately warmer. That whole place was kind of wrong. And not only that, the decapitated Winnie the Poohs, that didn't help, you know? It didn't stop us from eating well. Um, well is in the eyes of the beholder. If you want to call a 45 minute wait for a guacamole in a bag and some nachos eating well, it's your prerogative. But we had coffee. Then we waited in the Maple Leaf Street for the Christmas parade, which was fantastic. I'm not saying it wasn't weird as well, due to all these pretty boys who were dressed funny. We found some cool footwear, which proved handy in more than its original purpose. After we left, we saw on the street this little fella. What a genius creation! <laughs> The next day, we were so wiped out, we acted like we were back at home, and stayed in late. Then we went for some Mexican food. We went to buy some gifts at Sephora, and then back home in the metro, Saturday night. It seems that the whole of the Parisian population has decided to get on the metro with us. The last day was already tainted with the sad feelings of leaving and missing my brother all over again. But we made a fun day out of it, going for a walk at the Marais, the Jewish Quarter. Saw some great stores, bought some souvenirs, had some fantastic sushi, and packed for the airport. All in all, we had great fun, and I have made some observations. Did you know you can walk a red light and are looked down upon if you don't? And isn't it weird that in a city of fashion and high heels, there would be endless heels traps? This was the first city I've seen in which such huge dogs can coexist with such small cars. And, um, oh yeah. They don't call it the city of lights for nothing. There was another observation made by me that I am perfectly willing to share with you. The French people are considered rude for nothing. Yes, they will look sourly at you in stores and such. But just try to address them in French and voila! Nicest people in the world. I mean it. And, of course, I'm gonna say this. The best fun was to be together again, all of us, just being goofy. And I'm feeling
Fim 